Okay, there we go. So, hi. I know it's been a while since I made a vlog for like a study vlog thing or a school vlog, but an entire semester where I take like 20 plus units versus short term where I just take less than 10 units. It's very different. So, I wasn't able to film stuff for the first semester of my second year because I was really, really overwhelmed and there were just so many things to do and so many things to catch up on and yeah, it was a whole thing. Sorry for that, but I'm planning on filming for like a day of my second year, second semester tomorrow. I kind of tweaked a few things with how I do my schoolwork and the whole online classes thing compared to what I did in the first semester which was very similar to my short term thing didn't quite work I ended up procrastinating a lot and rushing a lot of things that should not have been rushed example my lab reports but let's not go back to that dark time it's Sunday night and I just I'm here to like give you a little introduction so I won't have to do it tomorrow. I'm just gonna run you through what would probably happen tomorrow. So I'm planning on waking up at 6 or 6.30 just so I could already go to my study area or classroom setting at 8 o'clock. Considering all the stuff, the backlist stuff that I have to finish and read this week, I really need to lengthen the time that I spend on schoolwork because after I finish my schoolwork which is around 5 p.m. I really don't have the energy to continue and I just always feel this like ache behind my head which I think is a sign of stress or something so I really can't continue schoolwork unless I really push myself. I guess I just decided to limit all of my school stuff at that time frame that I will be assigning myself which kind of mimics an actual schedule when face-to-face -face classes are, were like a thing. I'm gonna start my day at 6 or 6.30 and then I'm just going to uh, eat breakfast and I'm going to do all the work, prepare and I'm gonna change my outfit and not just you know work in my pajamas I have been trying outfits that I don't really have the nerve to like use in regular times when I go out I'm going to be planning my outfit tonight so I would it would be a lot smoother tomorrow and I'd be saving more time so anyway after I change I'm going to be going to the rooftop which is where I have been studying. I actually have a quiz tomorrow which will be open for 2.30 until 6. I also have a G meet or like a synchronous session um, with a class and the professor at 3 p.m. so I'm going to have to take the quiz after the G meet. So for the morning I will continue the backlist that I've started and should have finished last week which mostly is the cytogenetics stuff first module for that haven't finished it because there are hell of a lot of stuff to go through there I'll take lunch break at 12 to 1 after that I will be studying for the quiz and then I'll join the G meet I'll take the quiz and after that I will be reading the second module for microbiology which is centered on bacteriology. I also have stuff to read in the general subjects. I'm taking two general subjects this first term which is the preliminary term. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so don't laugh at me but this is the outfit that I want to wear. So those are brown jeans. I don't know which sweater but either one. And yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye! I went with a different outfit because I cannot be bothered to wear something, some long sleeve thing with jeans that are really fitted. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't. So, I'm just gonna go with shorts and a blazer. Just yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's hot. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to say. 
let me just put on the blazer so that it at least looks a little more put together, I guess. Okay, let me just put on some shoes and I'll show you the entire outfit. It's so hot. I'm gonna take off my blazer. It's hot, it's hot today. Had to open all the windows for the first time in forever. I just wanna go swimming. <laughs> but you know, with the pandemic, just gonna check all the G classrooms, the Google classrooms for stuff. Might have missed something. I'm just waiting for my laptop to load because it takes forever to. Yeah. I'm actually already late, 11 minutes late. I'm supposed to already be up here by 9 and start everything by 9. But, yep, that last minute change of clothes. Also, it takes so much time in eating breakfast. Okay, so I'm just gonna give like a short reading update for those people who are interested. If you're not, skip ahead. But yeah, for my audiobook, I'm still reading The Count of Monte Cristo because that book is very long. I finished The Duke and I by Julia Quinn yesterday. It's what I chose to do over reading my module because yeah it was Sunday and I really can't work Sundays because I'm so tired and I just need a day off. Compared to the TV series, I guess if you want to get into the story, I would suggest just going for the TV series instead of the book because you do get a lot more things if you just watch the TV series. It's a lot meatier. Uh, there are a lot more characters that you need in the book. 90% of it is Daphne and Simon. We also get a bit of Daphne's brothers, his three brothers, especially Anthony, because, you know, he did do what he did in the TV series also. That scene that Daphne does, um, uh, it was a lot more upsetting in the book because you really get to feel what Simon is going through, what he was thinking, and but the effects that he felt after what Daphne did were so much bigger and just worse. <laughs> so as of the moment, now I'm still reading The Count of Monte Cristo. It's really good actually. I love the writing. It's pretty but still accessible, especially because it's, you know, a classic and most of the time classics are really hard to get through. But this one is kind of easy, but maybe it's just because I'm reading it through the audiobook. Um, I'm also reading Gathering of Shadows, which is the second book to the Shades of Magic trilogy. Um, I'm not enjoying it as much as I wanted to or as much as other people are. It's hard to pick up, I guess, but when I'm reading it, like, I'm not that bored that I get tired of read reading it, actually, but I'm not excited when I it's time for me to read. I'm already at the part of the games, the SN tack. But yeah, it's a lot more exciting now, I guess, because the plot has started. So I'll just download that and I'll just start because I'm very late. 30 minutes late to the can time. Page 
just na lang I forgot to turn on my forest thing and then the forest okay so you can't see but okay yeah oh yeah definitely I should start with a different plant I'm just gonna screen record this for you because I know Okay, so which um, plant should I buy a new plant? Yes, I should. <laughs> Hi again. So I just finished lunch. Um, I started studying for the quiz after I finished reading the cytogenetics module just to kind of slim down on the stuff that I have to study after lunch, which is now. So yeah, and I'm gonna start studying again. Let me start my um all that loads. Is the reward after you watch the ad?
immediately after you say things, you know. sleepy <laughs> okay and I'm just gonna eat and watch YouTube okay bye just finished until like 30 minutes So I just finished um, exercising um, and I also did a few chores. So now I'm back in my regular Pong Bahai outfit, you know, coolio. Okay, so for tonight, what I will be doing is I will be continuing the last 14 minutes of that cytogenetics um, lecture video that I still have to finish. So that's for the, this update. I'm still filming on my phone because the camera battery is still charging until now. So yeah, you get to see me and my double chin. I'm just gonna rest first. I'm gonna have dinner. I'm gonna wash the dishes and you know do my other chores in the kitchen. That's when I'll do the 14 minutes. Okay. Hi, editing Amy here, also known as Amy from months after the last footage was taken. So I I think I lost the footage to me reading that night and also the footage of me continuing the notes was filmed upside down and my video editing software just can't handle, you know, flipping it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you wanna. You can follow me on Twitter and Goodreads um, using the links down below. And yeah, stay tuned for the 
next video that will be coming up after short term. Okay, bye!